you lost your video sir yes now we got back ah uh, hariyo hariyo namaste to all prostrating at the lotus feet of brahmanishta sadguru swami virajeshwara saraswati and the entire guru parampara on behalf of all of us today's discourse on viveka chodamani will continue om shri ganeshaya namaha ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯೈ ನಮಃ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಾರಂಭಾ ಶ್ರೀ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣಾಮಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಪುತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಸರ್ವೇದಾಂತಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತಗೋಚರ ತಮಗೋಚರ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿಹಂ ಓಂ ನಮ ಭಗವತೆ ವಿರಾಜೇಶ್ವರ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಹೆಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಡೆಟ್ ದಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ from that verse onward the next set of verses acharya is explaining the verily the real significance of the realization in other words the significance the importance and the purpose of the life fulfilled about realizing one's true nature in other words again atma jnana or brahma jnana so by the direct perceiving directly experiencing the real nature of who i am that i am is the pratyagatma swarupa atma swarupa inside this body in the body mind complex it is totally nothing to do with the body mind complex complex and it is this pratyagatma itself is that parama chaitanya paramatma ishvara himself so absolutely there is no difference between the pratyagatma inside and the paramatma ever pervading eternal all the time sarvatra sarva vibhu now in the same point he goes on explaining acharya Shankara Bhagavad Pada goes on explaining in a different, different uh, verses with a different different meters. You know, last time the last two charanas of the last shloka i repeat once again acharya bhagavat padaru atma jnana da nirupane jothege atma jnana da ondu mahatva atma jnana athwa brahma jnana da mahatva da bagge telkolta idare samadhi sthitiyalli adrallu nirvikalpa samadhi sthitiyalli obba uttama adhikariyagi irthakkuntaha mamukshu ಒಬ್ಬ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸು ಒಬ್ಬ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಆತ್ಮನನ್ನ ಹೃದಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಗೊಳಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಾನೆ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅನ್ನುವುದನ್ನೇ ಪದೇ ಪದೇ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ಬರುವ ಶ್ಲೋಕಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಿರವಧಿ ಗಗನಾಭಂ ನಿಷ್ಕಲಂ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಲ್ಪಂ ಹೃದಯ ಕಲಯತೆ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಪೂರ್ಣ ಸಮಾಧೌ the two last charanas of the previous shloka last time it will play niravade gagana abham nishkalam nirvikalpam prudhi kalayate vidwan brahma purnam samadhau brahma purnam samadhau prudhi kalayati vidwan 
ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಉತ್ತಮೋತ್ತಮನಾದಂತಹ ಆ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮವನ್ನ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರವನ್ನು ಹೃದಯದಲ್ಲೇ ಗಳಿಸುತ್ತಾನೆ ಹೃದಯ ಕಲೆಯತಿ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಪೂರ್ಣ ಸಮಾಧೌ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏಕಾಂತದಲ್ಲಿ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣವಾಗಿ ಏಕಾಗ್ರತೆಯಿಂದ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ತಾನೇ ತಾನಾಗಿ ಆ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಸ್ತುವಿನ ಕೃಪೆಯಿಂದ ಆಗುತ್ತದೆ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನ ಕೃಪೆಯಿಂದ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ಪ್ರಕಟಗೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಾನೆ ಹೃದಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ಭಾವ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಸಣ್ಣ ವಿಚಾರ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರ ಪದೇ ಪದೇ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಬಗ್ಗೆನೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾನುಭೂತಿ ಆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನದ ನೇರ ಅನುಭವ ಅಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಅನುಭವ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಪ್ರಶಾಂತವಾದಾಗ ಆಳವಾದ ಗಾಢವಾದ ಸಮಾಧಿಯಲ್ಲಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಪದೇ ಪದೇ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ವಿಷಯವನ್ನ ನಾವು ಗಮನಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ಲಿ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೀಪ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ the realization like a flash it occurs within the heart cave again by the grace of sadguru or by the grace of lord himself sadguru or paramatma one and the same so always at the back we should remember what acharya is telling here again and again entering into samadhi itself is an effort as we can say but it is not actually our effort the final stages of the samadhi state happens effortlessly by the grace of guru or god by the grace of guru or god here the important point to remind to remember for all of us very important point he is in the mandukya was chapter advaita shri gaudapada acharya the paramachari explains one subtle point in mandukya upanishad in, in the very first chapter advaita padakita what he ex- we, we should remember as an all of all of why do when any spiritual aspirant automatically enters into the deep samadhi state in the during deep meditative mood when the one meditation like a flash to cut down your elderful there are several obstacles this when our guru used to say not be so our guru acharya says there are several obstacles most important there are the four of obstacles coming in the way of samadhi number 1 is laya samadhi sthitiyile bartakkanta vignagala bagge gaudapada acharyaru andukya karikeyalli vishadavagi helutare andukya upanishaduna mandukya karikeyalli advaita prakaranadalli modalne adhyay advaita prakaranadalli helbeku modalne
ಎರಡನೇ ವಿಘ್ನ ಲಯ ಎರಡನೇ ವಿಘ್ನ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಮೂರನೇ ವಿಘ್ನ ಕಷಾಯ ನಾಲ್ಕನೇ ವಿಘ್ನ ರಸಾಸ್ವಾದ ನಾಲ್ಕು ರೀತಿಯ ವಿಘ್ನಗಳು ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸುವಿಗೆ ಸಮಹಾದಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಪ್ರವೇಶ ಪಡೆಯುವ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಉಂಟಾಗ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನಾಲ್ಕು ವಿಘ್ನಗಳು ನಾಲ್ಕು ರೀತಿಯ ಬಾಧೆಗಳು ನಿದ್ರೆ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಕಷಾಯ ಮತ್ತು ರಸಾಸ್ವಾದ ಸೊ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಎನ್ಕೌಂಟರ್ ವಿ ಎನ್ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸ್ಟೇ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಡೀಪ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ವಯಟ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಏಕಾಂತ ಇನ್ ಸಾಲಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಸೊ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟಕಲ್ ವಿಘ್ನ ಇಸ್ ನಿದ್ರ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಯ ಲಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟಕಲ್ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟಕಲ್ ಕಷಾಯ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟಕಲ್ ರಸಸ್ವಾದ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಯ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ what happens sometimes in most of the times in most of the case is this you know there is a sort of a shell being so without our knowledge while sitting closing our eyes we start sleeping our mind this body complex enters into sleepy mode perfect sleepy mode while sitting that is what dorpada chari say laya so that is the first thing you we will not be doing any meditation we will be actually enjoying the sleep very sensitive subtle sleep the sleep act takes over and obstacle ship big ship everyone everyone the worst like doing meditation the moment we little longer you full of all types of this world mind goes towards those vasanas all thoughts the desires our innate desires they come out in force mind you know gets entangled in those vasan you will be thinking on so many things one after another they may be lustful desires sensual desires the desires of achieving something or thinking about the crisis whatever whatever the mind is full of thoughts that is which third one kashaya this is the third important obstacle shri gaudapada acharya significant significantly informs all of us this will never be felt it is so subtle what is it kashaya kashaya is one of the important obstacles for the samadhi because kashaya means the deep seated the deep rooted unmanifested our desires in the seed form in the chitta stored as impressions in our memory from so many births so many from previous births so many unfulfilled desires in the seed form they are embedded in our chitta or memory chitta or memory they are always there deep seated until they are removed what is meant in vedantic parlance is called vasana kshay if all the vasanas persist unnoticingly subtly in the mind or chitta that is called kashaya mind is impure kashaya means impurities of the mind or chitta after the fourth level of struggle 
if you get over all the three levels of obstacles said so far, the fourth level obstacle during Samadhi state, a spiritual aspirant may encounter. That is Rasaswa. Gaudapada Acharya cautions us. What is Rasaswa? While you are meditating, while entering into Samadhi state, Rasaswa means, you know, the mind, like a lullaby, it starts itself feeling joyous, pleasurable. There is a sort of happiness. You know, the happiness is coming because the mind is aware that you are sick. Do it by the mind itself, sitting very beautifully in the meditative state. You are doing the prana, which others are not at all bothered. Others are not even they are thinking on that, and you are the person. You are enjoying this. You are being benefited by this. You are the chosen one. So that you are graced by the Guru, you are the one graced by the God. All such feelings will generate, you know, a fountain of happiness, a fraction of happiness, fountain of happiness, whatever you call words. So the mind, you know, feels exalted. The mind feels elated. Rasa Aswada, Rasa Aswada, Rasa Aswada, Rasa Aswada. So you enjoy the meditation. You are enjoying the meditation. That is the real culprit. That is the real obstacle for someone. So all these feelings generated represent that your mind is active and your ego, subtle ego is active. Ahankara is there. Mana is there. Along with Chitta and Buddhi. So we have to take care of all these things. Gaudapada Acharya says in the Mandukya Karya. That is how Samadhi state is so difficult for all of us to attain. It can happen only by the grace of Guru and by our constant perseverance, constant determination, constant effort and total surrender at the lotus feet of the Guru or the God. It is only the Sadguru or God who can, who can Remove all these obstacles and help the individual entity to enter into Samadhi. So that at one particular moment, by the grace of Guru or Lord, reality will flash. The real nature, which was obscured, which was covered. All it is a digression here. Yeah. <laughs> Prakurti Vikruti Shunyam Bhavana Tita Bhavam Samarasam Asamanam Mana Samandhaduram Nigama Vachana Siddham Nityam Asmatra Siddham Rudrikalayati Vidwan Brahma Purnam Samadho Again, the last Charana Ajna. He is explaining Vidwan Rudhi Kalayati Brahma Purnam Samadho. In the Samadhi state, Vidwan, the Jnani will realize his own Atma, his own Pratyagatma, Prudhi Kalayati. So, this attributes or the, the, the Acharya is giving here what cannot be explained. He is explaining that Brahma Jnana. Nature of 
realization significance of realization what is that prakriti vikruti shunyam bhavana atita bhavam samarasam asamanam manasam bandha doram nigama vachana siddham nityam asmartha siddham prati kalayati vidwan brahma purnam samato andre aacharya yen helta idare ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿಯ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಕಾರಣಗಳ ಭಾವ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಕಲ್ಪನೆಗೂ ದೂರ ಆದಂತಹ ಭಾವವುಳ್ಳ ಏಕರಸವಾದ ಅನುಪಮವಾದ ಪ್ರಮಾಣಕ್ಕೆ ಅತೀತವಾದಂತಹ ವೇದವಾಕ್ಯಗಳು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಶ್ರುತಿಗಳಿಂದ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯಗಳಿಂದ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧವಾದ ಪ್ರಕಟವಾದಂತಹ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ನಾನು 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 ಎಂಬ ಜ್ಞಾನದಿಂದ ಹೃದಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧವಾದಂತಹ ಆ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣವಾದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವನ್ನ ಜ್ಞಾನಿಯು ಸಮಾಧಿಯ ಮೂಲಕ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೃದಯಾಕಾಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರಗೊಳಿಸುತ್ತಾನೆ ಹೃದಯಾಕಾಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಸ್ತುವನ್ನ ಅನುಭವಿಸುತ್ತಾನೆ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ the jnani the learned one the wise one will realize in his heart during samadhi state that indefinable para brahma parama chaitanya that paripurna chaitanya that brahma vastu brahma padartha of the nature of devoid of any cause and defect relationship it is unvarying nature unmoving nature it is incomparable incomprehensible cannot be understood cannot be described it is beyond all canons of the knowledge it cannot be explained at all such paripurna ekarasa parabrahma vastu and which is vehemently declared established by repeatedly mahavakyas of shruti upanishad such a brahma padartha parabrahma vastu atma vastu the vidwan the jnani will realize in his own heart that is the point here next same similar shloka he further explain ajaram amaram asta bhasa vastu swarupam stimita salila rashi prakshyam akya vinam ಶಮಿತ ಗುಣ ವಿಕಾರ ಶಾಶ್ವತ ಶಾಂತಮೇಕ ಹೃದಯ ಕಲಯತಿ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಸಮಾಧೌ ಅಜರಂ ಅಮರಂ ಅಸ್ತಾಭಾಸ ವಸ್ತು ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಸಲಿಲ ರಾಶಿ ಪ್ರಕ್ಷ ಆಖ್ಯಾಹೀನ ಶಮಿತ ಗುಣ ವಿಕಾರ ಶಾಶ್ವತ ಶಾಂತಮೇಕ ಹೃದಯ ಕಲಯತಿ ವಿದ್ವಾನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಸಮಾಧೌ ಜ್ಞಾನಿಯು ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಅನೇಕ ರೀತಿಯ ಪದಪುಂಜಗಳಿಂದ ವಿಶೇಷಣಗಳಿಂದ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಸ್ತು ಆ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ವಸ್ತು ಆ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಹೇಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಅನುಭವಕ್ಕೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸುವಿಗೆ ಜ್ಞಾನಿಗೆ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಹೃದಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿ ಅಜಂ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಮುಪ್ಪಿಲ್ಲದ ಅಮರಂ ಸಾವಿಲ್ಲದ ಮುಪ್ಪಿಲ್ಲದ ಸಾವಿಲ್ಲದ ಎಲ್ಲವೂ ಶಾಂತವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಆಭಾಸ ವಸ್ತು ಅಸ್ತ ಆಭಾಸ ವಸ್ತು ಸ್ವರೂಪಂ ಅಸ್ತಂ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿಯ ತೋರಿಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ಇರತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಉಪಾಧಿ ರಹಿತವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಶಾಂತವಾದ ಸಮುದ್ರದ ಹಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ನಾಮರಹಿತವಾದ ನಿರ್ಗುಣವಾದ ನಿರ್ವಿಕಾರವಾದ ಶಾಶ್ವತವಾದ ಶಾಂತವಾದ ಅದ್ವಿತೀಯವಾದಂತಹ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವನ್ನ ಜ್ಞಾನಿಯು ಸಮಾಧಿಯ ಮೂಲಕ ತನ್ನ ಹೃದಯಾಕಾಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕರಿಸುತ್ತಾನೆ ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗಿ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೊ ದ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಅಟ್ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಡೀಪ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ in that nirvikalpa samadhi state again by the grace of guru again again the understood point by the grace of the sadguru or god 
he will realize that his own atma swarupa he will realize his own real nature he will realize means he will obtain not necessarily again from outside it's already there only thing he will reconnect what he had forgotten so we say he will realize him paripurna jnana that parabrahma vastu he will realize in his own heart which that brahma padartha that brahma jnana that brahma vastu that paramatma vastu that is ajaram amaram asthabhasa vastu swarupam stimit salila rash praksham akshyavihinam how is it it is something like it is immortal without any decay free from ajnana or any upadis it is unmoving it is vast expanse like a vast ocean where the water is still without any waves without any movement it is shamita guna vikaram it is totally devoid of attributes devoid of satva guna rajo guna tamo guna it is guna tita it is nirguna it is nirakara shashvatam shantam ekam it is eternal it remains as it is without any change without any parts it is akhanda it is not divided into any different parts it is partless divisionless motionless akhanda shantam totally still totally still without any vikal ekam is always the only one vastu sattva so that what is there only one parama advaita sthiti ekam eva advitiyam there is no second there is only one sadvastu brahma padartha paripurna brahma parabrahma vastu that he will experience in his own heart that is called enlightenment that is called realization so he will realize his true nature who he is he is no more the body no more the mind he is beyond all these things he is that brahma vastu he is that atma swarup that atma swarup is nothing but paramatma swarup samahita samahita antakarana swarupe vilokayatmanam akhanda vaibhavam vichindi bandham bhavaganda gandidam yatnena pumstvam sahali kurushtva samahita antakarana swarupe vilokayatma atmanam akhanda vaibhavam vichindi bandham bhavaganda gandidam yatnena pumstvam sahali kurushtva ye ee shloka dali aacharya ro shishyanige parama shishyanige helta iddare illi ond reethi aatanige ಆಶ್ವಾಸನೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಆತನನ್ನ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿ ಎಚ್ಚರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ವಿಚ್ಛಿಂದಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬಲಾತ್ಕಾರದಿಂದ ಪರಿಶುದ್ಧವಾದ ಮನಸ್ಸಿನಿಂದ ಕತ್ತರಿಸುವ ಈ ಭವಬಂಧ ಸಂಸಾರ ಬಂಧವನ್ನ ನೀನು ಸ್ವಪ್ರಯತ್ನದಿಂದ ಕತ್ತರಿಸಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹೋಗಲಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕಪ್ಪ ಪುಂಸ್ತ್ವಂ ಸಫಲೀಕೋರುಶ್ವ ಯತ್ನೇನ ಇವಳು ಯತ್ನೇನ ಪುಂಸ್ತ್ವಂ ಸಫಲೀಕೋರುಶ್ವ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿ ಛಲದಿಂದ ತಾಳ್ಮೆಯಿಂದ ಗುರಿ ಮುಟ್ಟುವ ಆ ಒಂದು ಏಕಾಗ್ರತೆಯ ಮನಸ್ಥಿತಿಯಿಂದ ಯತ್ನೇನ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ ಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿ ಪುಂಸ್ತ್ವಂ ನಿನ್ನ ಪುರುಷಾರ್ಥವನ್ನ ಸಫಲೀಕುರುಷ್ವ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದ ನೀನು ಸಾರ್ಥಕ ಪಡಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕಪ್ಪ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಇದು ಒಂದು ರೀತಿ ಆದೇಶ ಸೊ ದ ಕೀ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ಛಿಂದಿ ಬಂಧಂ ಭವಗಂಧ ಗಂಧಿತ ವಿಚ್ಛಿಂದಿ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಟೆಲ್ ದ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಟ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ಬಂಧನ ದಿಸ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಬಂಧನ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಸವರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಪೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಬಿ undermining your capability don't be disheartened with great effort perseverance you have to do all your efforts vichindi bhava vichindi bandham 
Avagandagandidam. You have to cut asunder this the samsara bandhan. This maya of samsara. You have to do it. How? He says in the beginning two Kiranas, Samahita, samahita antakkarana sarope ilokayatmanam akhanda vaibhavam vichindi bandham bhavaganda gandhitam yatnena pumstam sabali purushya. Clearly perceive the experience of the infinite Atma, the infinite glory of the Atma. Samahita antakkarana sarope vilokayatmanam akhanda vaibhavam Akhanda vaivavam, vilokaya, atmanam akhanda vaivavam. You have to perceive, you have to experience the eternal, shining, infinite glory of the atman, your own atman, inside your own heart cave. Cut off the bonds of all the vasana of samsara by effort. You have, by earnest effort, you have to try to cut off all the desire. Vasanas, the vikalpas, your mind, you know, it is, they are all dragging towards samsara, worldly life, worldly life, worldly affair, worldly pressure. You know, your desires are always to obtain so many things in life. Cut down, cut down, cut down, cut down. I tell you. Worldly pleasures, the pursuit of worldly happiness will take you away from the primary goal, Paramapurusha. What is the primary goal? To know really who I am first. Not the status or the name of this body, but really who I am. That is our Paramapurusha to be achieved in the life. So concentrate on that. Give up. Give up the vasanas of samsara, desires, and achieve that Purusha. Yatne napum stvam sakali Purusha. Your human birth, Ashari, I repeatedly say, Elsewhere also he has said, all Mahatmans have said, the primary purpose of the human life, which is a precious primary purpose of human life, which is so difficult to obtain, is to realize our true potential. Once we know really who we are, then what happens? This cycle of birth and death in which we are caught up, it is cut once for all. So, this will be the last birth. This will be the last human birth. So, after the death of the body, there is no more rebirth. You are not born again, again, either animal or human, whatever it is, according to karma. So, all the sanchita karmas, once automatically they are vanished. Once realization dawns in, even the prarabdha will vanish. Once the realization dawns in, so the karma shesha vanishes. Once the realization dawns in, so then what happened? It is janma rahitya sthiti. It is what is called jivan mukta state. You become totally liberated while still living in the body. And after the death, it is called videha mukti. So. You are, you are becoming a total mukta, free, eternally free. You are that free Atma Swarupa. You are that Paripurna Parabrahma Swarupa, eternal. So that there is no rebirth. You don't come back. You don't come back. You don't come back. There is a point here, Acharya. Because here, Sri Chandrasekhar Bharti Maswami, while explaining the shloka in his Bhashtu, he quotes extensively the Shruti Vakya, Upanishad Vakya. What is that? <coughs> According to Mahaswami, he writes, even the Upanishads declare very clearly, all these points repeatedly in so many 
mantras, Mahavata. There is a famous Shruti, Mahatma mantras. There is a famous Shruti here. Yallabhanna paro labho yad sukhanna param sukham yad bodhanna paro bhoda tatad brahmi brahmi iti avadharaya brahmi iti avadharaya that is one of the famous shrutis Upanishad Vajana Yallabhanna paro labho yad sukhanna param sukham yad bodhanna paro bhoda Tata Brahmitya Avadharai. Brahma Iti Avadhara. So what the Shruti says here, Mahaswami explains. According to this Upanishad Mahavakya, what is the most significant gain, Labha? That is Atma Labha. Atma Darshan is the most significant gain. That is a Parama Purusha. Atma Labha is the most significant gain. That is our goal, Parama Uddesha in life. So, when this is obtained, when Brahma Jnana dawns in, when Atma Jnana dawns in, when realization dawns in, that is the greatest gain in the life. Once this greatest gain happens, What else is there in the life to gain or to obtain? When you obtain the greatest, you don't aspire for other small things, small gain. Yallabhan na paro labha. Yat sukhan na param sukham. When you obtain the greatest happiness, greatest unimaginable and count the happiness, are you bothered about small things in life? The entire superlative happiness is in your hand. Then you are not bothered about the small, small happiness of the individual events at all in life. Yet sukhanna param sukham. Yet bodhanna paro bodha satat brahma iti abadharaya. That knowledge, what you gain, what you obtain by the grace of God or Guru, that knowledge of Atman, once you obtain that brahma jnana, once you obtain the Atma Sakshatkar, once you obtain the divine greatest of the greatest knowledge, what is there with the other forms of Vidya, other forms of knowledge? You have to do with that. You are least bothered. Yet bodhonna paro bodha satat brahmeti avadharaya. So with that, always remain that you are that para brahma saro avadharaya. That is one Shruti Vakya Mahaswami quotes here. Another Shruti Vakya Mahaswami writes here Atmalabhanna param kinchi dasti. Atmalabhanna param kinchi dasti. That means Atmalabhat na param kinchit asti. Atmalabha kinta, Brahmajnana kinta, Parama pavitravada. Swarupa jnana kinta pereya yavade labha jivanadalli illa antara. Atma jnana da labha da munde in yavudu adhika sarishamana alla. Atma labhanna param kinchi dasti. There is nothing in the life which can surpass or even come nearer to the greatest Greatest of the greatest wealth of the knowledge called Brahma Jnana once you obtain. So once you perceive Brahma Jnana, that is the wealth of the wealth, supermost, superlative, whatever words, words fail here. So nothing can be compared to the level of Atma Jnana. There is no other wealth, worldly wealth, right, which can come near near Atman. That is what it is. And uh, Mahaswami quotes here even the Bhagavad Gita where Krishna says. He quotes here Bhagavad Gita. Etad buddhya 
बुद्धि बुद्धिमा सैकृतृत्य भारत एक बुद्धवा बुद्धिमा सैकृतृतृतृत्य भारत कृष्ण से लुक अर्जुन What is to be obtained, Parama Purushartha? That is Brahma Jnan, Atma Sakshartha. Once it is obtained, once you realize the Atma Sarupa, you become Krita Krutya. Your everything is accomplished in the life. There is nothing more to achieve in life. You already you become Krita Krutya, Krita Krutya, Krita Krutya Shya Bharat. So these these explanatory notes given by Mahaswami is to explain and explain the significance of what acharya says ninna swarupadalli antakaranavanna nelasi akhanda vayavulla atmananna nee sakshatkara golisikondre samsara vasaneyinda untagirttakkanta bandhavanna yatnadinda prayatnadinda samsara bandhavanna nee kattarisu prayatnadinda ninna purushatvavanna sarthakapadisu antu helta idu ಯತ್ನೇನ ಪುಂಸ್ವ ಸಫಲೀಕುರುಷ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸರ್ವೋಪಾದಿ ವಿರ್ಮುಕ್ತ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಂದ ಅದ್ವಯ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನಾತ್ಮಸ್ತ ನ ಭೂಯ ಕಲ್ಪಸೇ ಧ್ವನೇ ಸರ್ವೋಪಾಧಿ ವಿರ್ಮುಕ್ತ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಂದ ಅದ್ವಯ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನ ಆತ್ಮಸ್ಥ ನ ಭೂಯ ಕಲ್ಪಸೇ ಧ್ವನೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಕಲ್ಪಸೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಅಧ್ವನಿ ನ ಭೂಯ ಕಲ್ಪಸೆ ಅಧ್ವನಿ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸರ್ವೋಪಾದಿ ವಿ ನಿರ್ಮುಕ್ತ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಂದ ಅಧ್ವಯ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮನ ಆತ್ಮಸ್ಥ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆತ್ಮಸ್ಥ ಆತ್ಮನ ಭಾವಯ ಸಮಸ್ತ ರೀತಿಯ ಉಪಾಧಿಗಳಿಂದ ಮುಕ್ತನಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಸಚಿದಾನಂದ ಸ್ವರೂಪನಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಅದ್ವಿತೀಯನಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತಹ ಆ ಆತ್ಮನನ್ನ ನಿನ್ನಲ್ಲಿಯೇ ನಿನ್ನ ಒಳಗೆ ನೀನೇ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರಗೊಳಿಸು ಭಾವಿಸು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಭಾವಯ ಮೀನ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರಗೊಳಿಸು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊ ಅದನ್ನ ಅನುಭವಿಸು ನೇರವಾಗಿ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷವಾಗಿ ನೀನು ಅರ್ಥಿಕೊ ಹಾಗೆ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ನೀನು ಈ ಸಂಸಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಹಿಂದಿರುಗುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ಭೂಯ ಅಧ್ವನೇನ ಕಲ್ಪಸೆ ಭೂಯ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಂಸಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಅಧ್ವನೆ ಸಂಸಾರ ನ ಕಲ್ಪಸೆ ಪುನಃ ಪ್ರಯಾಣಿಸುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ವಾಪಸ್ ಬರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೀನು ಈ ಜನ್ಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಕ್ತನಾಗಿ ಬಿಡ್ತೀಯ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಿನಗೆ ಜನ್ಮವಿಲ್ಲ ಅದೇ ಜನ್ಮ ರಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಇದೇ ಕೊನೆಯ ಜನ್ಮ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಈ ಜನ್ಮದಲ್ಲಿಯೇ ನೀನು ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀಯಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಕೃಷ್ಣನೇ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಆಚಾರ್ಯರು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಭಾವಯಾತ್ಮ ಭಾವಯ ಆತ್ಮನ ಆತ್ಮಸ್ಥಂ ನ ಭೂಯ ಕಲ್ಪಸೆ ಮನಿ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೇಸ್ ಇಯರ್ when you are meditating deeply on the atman which is inside you only in the pratyagatma swarupa that atman is inside you only in the cave of the heart it is beyond devoid of all upadis sarvopadi vinirmuktam sachidanandam advayam it is sachidananda swarupa it is advaya it is there is no second it is the only eka vastu akhanda vastu ajara amara sachidananda swarup it is sat swarup chit swarup ananda swarup it is nothing but the pure existence nothing but the pure knowledge that is aware and nothing but the pure bliss sat chit ananda swarup so that such a ಆತ್ಮಸ್ವರೂಪ ಸಚ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗಾತ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮಸ್ಥಂ ಭಾವಯ ಯು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿಥಿನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ 
ಭೂಯ ಅಧ್ವನೇನ ಕಲ್ಪಸೆ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಸಂಸಾರ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನೆವರ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಸಂಸಾರ ಯು ಎಸ್ಕೇಪ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೆತ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಯು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಎ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಜೀವನ್ ಮೂಕ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ದ ಡೆತ್ ಅಕರ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೀಬಾರನ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಸಂಸಾರ you don't come back to samsara mahaswami again writes here the commentary explanation on this taking <coughs> again the gita vachanas by lord krishna and also upanishad vakya mahaswami writes here to this shloka in the bhagavad gita lord say a brahma bhavana loka punaravartino arjuna a brahma bhavana loka punaravartino arjuna gita lord says to arjuna that means what right from the highest level of brahma loka or satya loka even if you enter that highest abode after death all these dimensions lokas again you have to come back to earth once again in the form of rebirth punaravartino arjuna so there is no escape even after death if you enter hell and heaven gandharva loka aditya loka ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಲೋಕ ಮಹರ್ಲೋಕ ಜನೋಲೋಕ ಸಿದ್ಧಲೋಕ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಎಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡೆತ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟೇ ದೇ ಟಿಲ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಯುವರ್ ದಟ್ ವರ್ಚುವಸ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಎಂಟರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಲೋಕ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ರಿವರ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕಾಂಟ್ ಎಸ್ಕೇಪ್ ರಿವರ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ that's what arjuna said you must remember so krishna says in bhagavad gita up to the brahma loka even if you enter you have to come back for rebirth again you have to take birth but same lord says in bhagavad gita same lord says in bhagavad gita ಮಾಮುಪೇತ್ಯಥು ಪೌಂತೇಯ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಏತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಏತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಮಾಮುಪೇತ್ಯಥು ಕೌಂತೇಯ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಆದರೆ ನೋಡಪ್ಪ ಅರ್ಜುನ ನೀನು ನನ್ನನ್ನೇ ಹೊಂದಿದರೆ ನನ್ನಲ್ಲೇ ಐಕ್ಯನಾದರೆ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣವಾಗಿ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಪಡೆದುಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನೀನು ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣವಾಗಿ ನನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಐಕ್ಯ ಹೊಂದಿದರೆ ಅನ್ನೋ ಅರ್ಥ ನಿನಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮವಿಲ್ಲ ಸಂಸಾರಕ್ಕೆ ಮರಳೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾವ ಅರ್ಥದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನೀನು ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನವನ್ನೇ ಹೊಂದಿ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಸ್ವರೂಪನೇ ಆಗಿಬಿಟ್ರೆ ನಿನಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿದೆಯಪ್ಪ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಮುಪೈತ್ಯತು ಕೌಂತೇಯ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನಾದ ನನ್ನನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದರೆ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಏಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಏಟ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಮರ್ಜ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೋಟಲಿ ಮರ್ಜ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡೆತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ರೀಬ ನ ಪುನರಾವರ್ತ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ನ ಪುನರಾವರ್ತ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ರೀಬರ್ತ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ನೋ ರೀಬರ್ತ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಸೇಮ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಚಾಂದ್ರೋಗ್ಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಮಹಾಸ್ವಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಒನ್ ಲೈನ್ ಪ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾಂದೋಗ್ಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಮಹಾಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇನ್ ಚಾಂದೋಗ್ಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನಚ ಪುನರಾವರ್ತತೆ 
Nakcha Punaravartate is the last phrase of the long Mahavakya, where it means he will not come back to samsara. He means here a Brahmajnani, an enlightened soul, a realized Mahatman, will not come back to samsara. Shandogi also says it. So these are the points what Mahaswami takes from there and then substantiates in his bhashya for this shloka. Nabu yaha kalpase adhani. You will not come back, I tell you this. When, when realization occurs, when you become a atmajna, when you become enlightened soul, Next is Loka. Chayeva Pumstaha Paridrushyamanam Abhasa Rupena Palanubhutya Shari Ramarat Shavavat Mirastam Unarna Sandhatta Idam Mahatma Chayeva Pumstaha Paridrushyamanam Abhasa Rupena Palanubhutya Shari Ramarat Shavavat Mirastam Unarna Sandhat Idam Mahatma. So here, what Acharya said? Atma Sakshat Karavan Hundrataktantaha Jnani Jnanotpati Adamele. Brahmajnana Bandanta Sitiali Ata Mahatpane Agbritanala Antavanige They had a male in the Mamakara Moha, some poor Vagnashavagi, Tano Deha Mana Ahankara Buddhi Alanta Gutta the male Tano Kaval Atma Surupa, Paramatma Surupane Agitene, Brahma Surupane Agitene, in Banera Anabova were made. Nerinante tana e anabot bartarta canta e deha ideala, sherira ideala e sherira vana shava the hagi cantane, whatever the retail cantane. Nyanige, nano sherira lant gotta the mele, sherir in the dura irtane, man sikavagi, idu nan alve alla, idu on the shava, shava antandra, in the lanade, bit to manada in the bit to hogi, nushis hog the canta. Manada Bandanantara e Deha e Sharira Sut Budiag Beku Illa Bhumi Illi Busama de Madaga Adu Ali Karege Mandale Mandagabek Nashwagbe Adrinda e Sharira Nana La and Anubava Banele Atanige A Sharira Preeti Sharira Moha Tologi Hogut today Sharira Jnana Toligo Hogut today. A moha talib hogutre is no more attached. Ibhavai Acharya in her title Chayeva Pumsaha Paritrushamanam Abhasa Rupena Palano Bhutya Shariram Arat Shavavat Mirastam Punar Nasandhatta Idam Mahatma Punar Nasandhatta Idam Mahatma Mahatma Shabdo Acharya is using the word Mahatma here for Ignani, the one who has realized. What Acharya said? The one who has realized, one who has become a Vidwan or a Jnani, a Tattvavit, a Samadarshi, one who is enlightened, one who knows his Atma Sarupa. He is the Atma Sarupa. He is not the body anymore. He is not the body mind complex anymore. Then he perceives this body at that highest state of enlightenment. He looks upon the body, his body, physical body, along with the mind and other parts, other divisions of Antakarana. He looks at the, mind, the body mind complex as a corpse, a dead body. Shariram Aratta Shavavat Nirastam. Shavavat Nirastam. Shariram Aratta 
devavat nirastam he looks upon his own body as a dead body but shavavat praise the key word here that is using he looks upon his own body as a dead body it is a corpse why because he knows he is no more this body at all after the death the body either it is burnt to ashes or if it is buried into the soil where it totally decomposes decays and finally everything goes away it becomes nothing but dust part so he called acharya called this body as shavavat it is like a dead body so for a jnani his own body is like a dead body he is not concerned with this body very difficult to digest these points for all of us at least for some of us a jnani always consider chayeva pumsaha paridrushyamanam abhasa roopena phalana bhutya he knows that because of prarabdha the birth has occurred because of the previous birth prarabdha the body has come jnani no so the body has to sustain it has to live till the allotted time ayushya pramana till allotted time the body has to live it has to grow it has to decay it has to enter old age and all the diseases will crop up in the body body becomes weak senile almost immovable then it is on the death bed and finally it will die he knows jnani knows so the body is there because of prarabdha because of ayushya so like a shadow the body is there but he knows he is not the body at all he is disconnected himself mentally but he is moving in the body a jnani is moving he is living but internally totally he looks upon his body as a dead body shavavat nirastam he knows today or tomorrow the body will go away the body will die it's not permanent that means what i here is telling ultimately the key point we have to remember here a jnani is no more attached with the physical body and mind concepts he is no more attached totally detached internally there is no attraction anymore about his own body the ego has gone ahankara is gone i am this the status has gone i am that i am that i am this i want this i want all the desires have gone mind has become pure gunatita it has become shuddha sattva mind has become vishuddha sattva so where is the attachment to the body a jnani is no more attached internally but he behaves normally from the standpoint of others when others look upon a jnani you don't see the difference between them and a jnani jnani also walks jnani also sits jnani also eats jnani also has to go for urination jnani also has to defecate and he will have problems in the body there will be diseases in the body he behaves like any other person so a jnani onlooker will not find any difference at all by looking at a jnani internally it is jnani's mind is stabilized totally is unmoving unbothered totally unbothered because he knows he knows the truth he knows that he is no more the body so that is a point so punarna sandhatta idam mahatma punarna sandhatta idam mahatma acharya says that means na sandhatta idam he will not accept this sandhatta na sandhatta idam he will not accept his body as himself he discards internally detaches himself from the body mind complex that is a point that is a point he totally detaches himself from the body and its actions and its repercussions and the prarabdha he knows it goes on according to the prarabdha the body will live and survive will uh, enter into old age and diseases and all weakness and everything he is no more bothered on that count 
I don't know how far I'm able to convey all these points, but <laughs> Acharya Shankara Bhagavad Gita is mentioning here about a jnani, how, how he behaves. What is it? That is the significance of Atma Jnana. A jnani, in other words, is beyond dukkha. Dukkha nivrutti is the main phala of Atma Jnana. Dukkha nivrutti, the suffering less mind, is the result of Atma Jnana. Janma Raitya Stiti is another important phala of Atma Jnana. No rebirth is another important phala of the Atma Jnana. So there is no rebirth and Jnani is unperturbed. He always stabilizes himself. He is, there is no more me and mine concept, the concept in the mind of a Jnani. Only when the ahankara is there, me concept comes in. We all are controlled by the ahankara and mamakara. Me and mine, me and mine. See, these two are gone. There is nothing like specifically individually me concept in the mind of a jnani or mine. These people are mine. These are only my family member. Others are not. So such thing is jnani is the whole world is his own play. Past consciousness play. He sees the world. All entities are him only. He will see him only in all the entities. So there is nothing like only me and mine concept. Totally, he is devoid of me and the mind concept. He is devoid of ahankara and mamakara. These are the points. So, he will not accept there is total detachment. That's what Acharya last line says. Punarna sandhatta idam mahatma. Punarna sandhatta idam. This body, mind, complex, na sandhatta mahatma. The jnani mahatma will not accept this as mine. No more he will accept this body as mine. No more he will remember this body as my body. So these are the points we have to remember here. This is the shloka number 4112 by the grace of the Sankalp of the Guru and stopping here. Shloka number 4112. Sri Rama Jaya Rama Jaya Jaya Rama 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 Hari Om Tat Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Hari Om Sir Sir uh, one one question I have uh, for uh, mortals like me on the sandhatta part <laughs> so essentially um, there is also a saying that you need to treat your body as temple so that you can pursue sadhana so the key word here i understand is detachment which is the hardest to get so you need to take care of your body though you treat it as a dead body Exactly. See, this is exactly what is called Adhikara Bedha and Sopanakrama. You are right. Every point in Adhyatma, Vedanta is important because at the high school level, that knowledge is essential. At the college level, the higher knowledge, when you take up, this knowledge becomes a background knowledge of high school. At the PhD level, Degree level knowledge becomes a background because you go into the higher dimension. You are absolutely right. All Mahatmans at some point in their lifetime, in their Upadesha, they have said body has to be taken care. Correct? Absolutely. No doubt in that. There is no disambiguity at all. No confusion. Body has to be taken why? Because our viewers should not start neglecting their body. Yeah, today. <laughs> as long as the jnana dance in the highest level, then only what Acharya is telling, once you become a Brahma jnana, then only all these things will be understood. You become detached. Till the last point, attachment is there. Till the last point, all these things we have to take care. 
Absolutely, you are right, Kailash. The body is a temple. It has to be taken care because without the proper body complex health condition maintained, you don't do sadhana. You can't do sadhana. You can't do paropakara. You can't do your purushartha. You can't help others. See, there are so many levels of our work distributed for Ajnanis till they reach. So to proceed in the Adhyatma spiritual point in the spiritual journey, all these things are very, very essential. So body is a temple. Body is a temple. But the highest point is the Jnani is not attached internally. Internally, Jnani is no more attached. Externally, they all behave like you and me. Correct? Yes. So when the, there is a summer season, they don't wear uh, winter clothes. And when the heavy winter, we have to wear winter clothes. When there is a you know health problem, we have to take medicines. And they will also take medicines. We will also take. So in that sense, body is a temple. Yes, there is no ambiguity at all, no confusion. I don't know whether are you following uh, this point. Absolutely, absolutely, sir. No, I wanted that to be clarified for our sadhaks who are following here that they should not get the idea yeah. that you know you should you should totally <laughs> yeah. you know ignore your body and your health that is not the um that's not the message of the bhagavad pada bhagavad pada what he's essentially saying is, is exactly we are all all this <laughs> even today i'll give example even today when bhagavad pada mentions brahma satyam jagan mithya mithya hours together we can talk see in the Dvaita philosophy, people who believe in Dvaita Siddhi, even today, Mithya means how this world can be unreal. Yes. We are seeing it. <laughs> you are different, I am different. How can Kairasji is equated to me, number one? And how I can be a Parma Purusha Narayana Vaikuntavasi? How I can be equated to Sriman Narayana and Vaikuntu Loka? Narayana is different, I am different. I am only a human being. Narayana is a Parma Purusha. You know, even today they say, is their Siddhanta. And they don't accept Advaita. And not only that, they may differ from Advaita, but they start hating Shankaracharya. <laughs> that is the point. They, they hate Shankaracharya. They, they use all epitaphs uh, to Shankaracharya. And they look down on Smartas as if they are very superior. You know, we are superior, Vaishnavites. These Smartas who wear basma, they are inferior. They are not even Brahmins. Even today it is. See, that's why definitions are very difficult to consider. Mithya, what he explains, Acharya is in a different context. Yes. Compared to the original Brahmapadartha, which is eternal and changeless, as it is, this change is transformation. In that yes. sense, see, and, and we should we don't not stop telling bills because it is Mithya. No, we don't hate Madhvacharya. We don't hate Sri Ramanujacharya. All Acharya and Prayas. For us, Siddhans are different. Every, every star is a star for us. No big star, small star. <laughs> I, I think you understood. Body yes. is a temple. Yes, it has yes. to be. Without that, Sharira Matram Idam Khalu Dharma Sadhanam. That is a statement of our... Uh, Vedas, the body is given for dharma sadhana. Dharma means not just moksha, all the four purusharta. See, all cannot be jnanis in this birth. So, dharma, artha, kama, moksha. See, are, majority are in the three only. Dharma, artha, they are all purusharta. For that, body is required. It has to be maintained. You have to follow pitru dharma, you have to follow um, pati dharma. We have to follow Putra Dharma. We have to follow Raja Dharma. We have to follow Vaishya Dharma. See, body is important. Nobody will deny that. I don't know whether Kailashi, I am whether any cut you do. Explain my book. You have perfectly explained my degree, sir. I, I just wanted to put your clarification in the context that people who listen to your discourse today, especially today's discourse, 
they should not say okay our body is done i don't want to take care of the body anymore <laughs> please i request you include this in the yes yes it is included it is it is included it is included so that, i think yes you right so that the context is gotten and people should not say okay uh, i am the avadita <laughs> now today from uh, i don't want to take care of my body what is this body this is uh, nashwara so only atma is nashwara body is uh, i do i will neglect the body from here on no that is not the intent or the purport of what yeah, yeah. it is like it is like you know my, my gurudev was giving a simple example you remember that example when a elephant is you know with with, with hormonal discharge it has become wild running helter skelter the fellow sitting on the elephant difficult to control mouth he is wow. shouting give way he is going to kill you and this fellow the shishya comes in just now he has her advaita philosophy everything is brahma elephant is also brahma i am also brahma he goes in front of it elephant will <laughs> crash him out he will or he will get totally <laughs> that is the same thing body yes. is important for bedroom no you should not take over that is the highest highest thank you sir thank you for clarifying that <laughs> i just <laughs> for people who are mortals like me who have these questions don't this say, needs to be clarified <laughs> sometimes i feel my inability you know to give clarification correctly so, like all my beautifully explained my vocabulary is limited <laughs> because i see people like gurudeva and my own guru though they have attained this uh, samadhi state they have not neglected the body they could have neglected nobody. the body any time no after their nobody uh, after their you know enlightenment they could have neglected the body any time or they could have even given up the body they yeah. did, they have not yeah. it happens only in very rare few cases as we call brahma with the brahma with varishta sthiti that is surya state the seventh plane of jnana where we really they are called avadhutas like sada ashobham not bothered like not at all bothered right about yes about how about, we dress look even, eat you want to dress yes see see that is that seventh plane of jnana sapta jnana bhumi last and we have heard of such avadhutas also existing and then we we gives right so many stories so different that see there are also jnanis our guru is but our guru is wearing the cloth he has not discarded it like like that are you ayyam sir i took more of your time please no 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 is a is a very lively enlightenment for me also sir Shirama Jai Rama Jai Jai Rama Shirama Jai Rama Jai Jai Rama Om Hari Om Tat Sat Hari Om Tat Sat Hari